Welcome to Christian Fitness and the Walk Fit Challenge. Yeah, I almost said we gate. Love living life. <laughs> That's a Monday show. <laughs> Actually, it's good. Plus, hey, great little promo. Yeah, I almost said that. <laughs> if you're not watching us on Mondays, we're live every Monday at, at 1, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Watch us wherever you are. If you're at the, you know, at your office, sneak us in on your phone. No, don't get in trouble with all. So happy today. I can't say happy <laughs> Monday like I do on Love Living Life, but happy today because today is a joyous day, and. Thank you that we can be a part of that. And hopefully we're helping you get healthier, stronger, and you're living your life well. Yeah, so this is the Walk Fit Challenge. Join us, we're on week eight. If you haven't joined us yet, welcome. Or rewind, watch the first. We've done some amazing shows already in these we first really seven have. weeks. One of my favorites is we go out into nature and do nature walks and have you, you can you know watch it on your monitor or you, you know set up your treadmill and walk with us on TV. But uh, we go to all kinds of amazing parks. And uh, last week we went to Weedon Island in St. Petersburg. Um, and it was just amazing. amazing. We saw raccoon and- uh, Raccoons, uh, turtles. Yeah, all kinds of wildlife. All kinds of just stuff. had a blast with that. So definitely tune in and watch those. Our goal here on the Walk Fit Challenge is to get you into the Word of God. So we have a little listening plan that we developed, and we're going to get you through the entire New Testament in 12 weeks. So there you go. There's the listening plan. You know, create your own. This is just one that Lori and I came up with to kind of keep us on track. So we're in week eight right now. So we're going to try to get from Acts 25 all the way through 1 Corinthians 3, and that'll kind of keep us on track for our 12 weeks. So with that said, we are in... You know, we always pick our favorite verse or a verse that jumps, Something out, at that jumps us out at us while we're studying. So we found Romans, where are we at, honey? Romans 8. Romans 8, verse, I think we're at 5 and 6. So where join us for this Bible study. Romans 8, verses 5 through 6, and this is in the Passion Translation. Those who are motivated by the flesh only pursue what benefits themselves. But those who live by the impulses of the Holy Spirit are motivated to pursue spiritual realities. For the sense and reason of the flesh is death, but the mindset controlled by the spirit finds life and peace. So you might say, wait a minute, this is a fitness show which focuses on the physical side. Why on earth would you bring a scripture that says physical doesn't matter, it's all about the spiritual side? Exactly, that's why we do Christian fitness. We want to take care of our bodies to be healthier, but this body's going to decay. I'm not going to be doing this show when I'm 90, 95, 100 probably won't be around but anyway don't say that. No, you know what I mean my, my, point, my point being the body decays so yes right. we want to take care of it and be healthier but we're more concerned about your spirit we want our spirit right. man to stay strong because it lives for eternity so we want our spirit to be built up our spirits to be strong and yes we try to get healthy but that's why we're focusing on the word to start with today we want to build up your spirit well I think it is in as a whole we have us we are a spirit we have the spirit yep. But we have a body and we have a mind, we have a soul. So those things, I mean, if you think about it, all we're trying to do is tell you that this is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Honor it by taking care of it. If you take care of that and honor what God's given you, then you will live a longer life right. and you will prosper even as your soul prospers. Third John. Right. Third John so I think two. that's yeah. really important if you think about it that way. So we bring out scripture because this is how we live. We do, we take care of ourselves. We've both been healed. We both have testimonies of God's healing power. And we want to honor that by helping you do the same thing. Exactly. Which I think is awesome. Well, that, so, actually, that's not even why we picked the scripture. That just no. kind of hit me as we shared it this morning. I'm like, wait a minute, we're sharing this on Christian Fitness. This isn't just Lori and I studying at home. So anyway, we wanted to tell you about that. But let's dig into the scripture a little more. You know what I think is amazing? And I always say, read the whole thing because when yeah. you read the whole, the whole chapter, that's when the Lord starts revealing things to you. So what I saw, and, and this is ahead of the scripture, and we are free to live not according to our flesh, but by the dynamic power of the Holy Spirit. So Jesus, he becomes human on this earth so that he can walk as man and then become, and then shows us we become the righteousness of God. So really the scripture is, when you know who you are, you are the righteousness of God, not by anything you've done, but by receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You are the righteousness of God. When you think of things in the spiritual, and I don't mean goofy weird, I mean when you think of who Jesus is and what Jesus does, and that you have the healing virtue in your body, you have the mind of Christ, you have the peace of God, you have every spiritual 
gifting that he's given you, if you go to Galatians 6 and it talks about who the Holy Spirit is, love, peace, kindness, you, that's who you are. You are that. So what Paul's talking about is there is no profit to a person if all they ever do is live in their emotions. That's what the flesh is. The flesh is living in an, as an emotional being instead of living for Christ, living in the Spirit, being directed by the Holy Spirit, being directed by how each day you move and walk. He's, the God says He directs our steps and we are the righteousness of Him, so why not know who you are? And that's what this is. It's saying you are supposed to walk according to the Spirit, not according to the flesh. I like that Or final, your emotion. Yeah, sorry. So, no, you're good. That, that final verse says, finds life and peace. The, the person yes. led by the Spirit finds life and peace. So that is so, so powerful. The mindset controlled by the Spirit finds life and peace. So if you're pursuing just the physical things of life, and it maybe not health, but it could be money, it could be material things, you pursue those, you're not gonna have peace because then you're gonna need more. That car you just bought is gonna decay. <laughs> that bank account might decay, your stocks might decay, or, or, or that stock fund might go down. That's not gonna give you peace. Peace is only from the spiritual side of, I know where I'm going, I know where I'm gonna spend eternity, I know the love that Christ has for me. That's how I find peace. That's how you find peace through any turmoil, whether it be mental or physical or emotional or uh, financial, whatever it is, that's where you get that peace. And that, that's what Paul's trying to tell them. I wanna to go to verse one of this book, my, one of my favorite, favorite verses. This is, uh, we're reading out the Passion Translation, but Romans 8, 1, Paul says, so now the case is closed. That's it. <laughs> There's no, that's it. Case done, case closed. I love that. So now the case is closed. In other words, this isn't even a debate anymore. There's no argument. There's nothing to argue. The case is closed. Peace is known through Christ. Well, let's, let's finish that then. Yeah, go ahead. Because he says, now the case is closed. There remains no accusing voice of condemnation against those who are joined in life union with Jesus, the anointed one. So if you think about it, if you are hearing a voice, the accuser, which is coming from an accusation of who, so that you don't know who you are. Any accusing voice that opposes the word of God is to come at you so that you will yield to that, which would be an emotion or what the Bible talks about being in your flesh. Instead of when you know who you are, if a thought comes across your mind and it is, well, you know, you're gonna really get sick, no. That is not from God. That is an accusation. No, no, no. That's so that you can't, because if that happens, you're supposed, but wait a minute. I walk with Jesus Christ. Yes, our bodies decay, all those things, but we have an anointing where we can actually say, no, I'm not gonna receive that. I'm gonna think of what's good. Just like Rob walked through cancer. Yes, he had cancer. That wasn't, no, he doesn't have cancer. No, we didn't he walk had, in denial. Trust right. me, when you That's have the ridiculous. effects of it, you can't yeah. deny it. But what we did do was because we know the promises right. of Jesus and we know that they're all yes, we focused on God's word and his goodness. And every day we focused on that instead of the accusation of what could come on as, you know, oh, this or that. And I'm, I'm very careful what I say because I know we speak life. And so that's what this is, is speaking life. Life and peace. Yes, life and peace. You've received it from Jesus. Continue to receive it. Read the Bible every day so that you know who you are. This is God's love letter speaking to you. He's telling you who you are. So that's what I love about We could probably just Romans spend this eight. whole show well, on this yeah, scripture. I mean, <laughs> But we do, want to, me, we do yes. want to exercise a little bit. But what I love about this is Paul talking about the accuser and the accusations. If you think of who Paul was when he was Saul. He did that. He persecuted Christians. He was on his way on the Damascus Road to actually arrest Christians and bring them back. So Some true. of them were murdered. He held the coats while they stoned Stephen. So if anybody was going to be accused or reminded of their past, it was Paul when he was Saul. And so you can imagine people saying, oh, wait, aren't you the guy that was holding the coats? Aren't you the guy that was persecuted? No, I'm a whole new creation. He even says that later in some of his books. That's he says, right. I'm not even the same person. You can't bring that accusation against me because that's not me. I'm new. I'm a new creation. Okay, anyway, we're going to keep preaching. So <laughs> <laughs> the, the Walk Fit Challenge. So now we're going to work on our physical health a little bit. 
Uh, today we're going to work on strength number three and a little bit of endurance. So we're actually going to do an interval training. We're going to get on the our rebounders or you can march in place for your endurance and then we're going to grab dumbbells every other minute and work some strength training. So interval training, one minute on, one minute off. So we're going to grab our dumbbells. If you have dumbbells at home, go grab those real quickly. Or water bottles or cans of soup or whatever you've handy. If you've been watching us for a very long time by now, you probably do own some of these. Yeah, first thing we want to do is just warm up. A great way to warm up is just march in place. It's going to warm up your ankles, your legs, your feet, your arms. So you swing your arms a little bit. Go ahead and warm up everything. And while Lori continues to warm up, I've got to check on my He wants to play with toy. his toy. But no, really, it actually does help us because you now can see that we're doing these in minute intervals. So when you see that the minute is up, then you know that we're going back to walking or we're going back to whatever, like today, this is weights. So how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. How are you there? doing? Are you warming up? <laughs> are you getting there? I have to reconnect every time. So oh. yeah, it takes me a second to get back in. Well, so let's just keep walking. Keep just warming keep up. keep walking. Swing your arms. The more you move your arms, the more cardio you get out of this. And if you want to, you can really lift your legs up oh, high. Oh, there, look at that. And then there, one minute. Really, All right, there so you let's go. march your place for one minute now that I got it working. Oh, so I'm doing two minutes, at least. I'm gonna go on the rebounder. Okay. So one minute on the rebounder, and then when that gets to zero, or on your carpet. we're gonna jump down and we're gonna work out with our dumbbells, and then we're gonna be back on here for a minute here, a minute there, a minute here, a minute there, and hence the name interval training. <laughs> so we hope you've joined us for this walk fit challenge. Go to our website, ChristianFitnessTV.com. Real simple website. And you can see on there, it, it, there's instruction on how to go and register and join us on the walk fit challenge. Join us anytime. It doesn't matter. You can join us 10 weeks in, 11 weeks in. How are we doing? Oh, I like that. That's interesting. I can't see it from here. It's backwards, but <laughs> oh, Elise is letting me know what we have. That's Our floor awesome. director is letting us see it by counting us down. All right, so that's it for marching. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells at home. We'll reset our clock. And we're going to start off by working our legs. We're going to, real simple, work our body from the ground up. So we just want to take a, a lunge. For beginners, just oh, barely step out. And we're just going to do some little tiny lunges. Intermediates, go a little deeper. Or you could start Dance. out with little lunges just to get the good warm, warm up. And then you could go and lunge lower, but get warmed up first. You want to do five, maybe 10 on one side, and then we'll switch. So beginners, just barely step out. Get warmed up, whoa. And you don't need dumbbells for this. You can just use your body weight. I mean, I'm not adding that much. What do I, I don't even know what these are, but. Oh, I have just really, adding a little bit very of weight. little weight. I really want to talk about something. So we have to figure out how long we're going to do something so I can talk about what I want to talk well, about. Well, we're almost done with this, and then we're going to have a minute on the rebounder. Okay. So hopefully you're feeling this if you're working at all on one side. Okay, rebounder time. Or so, you can just march in place. So here's what I want to share. In that scripture, Paul, Rob was um, talking about how Paul was an, a different person and how God can, cre can create who you are to be or who you are supposed to do in your calling or in your walk or however. So in saying that, it made me think about standing here doing Christian fitness with, fitness with you guys for 16 years, I wasn't supposed to be here. Right. I literally had been given a sentence of opposing what I do right now. And was one of the things diagnosed with besides having two strokes, I had a rare muscle disease. For me to be able to do what I do right now is a miracle. So it is literally seeing God's working power so that I can share with you. That's what all of us are supposed to have. So that's what I wanted to share. So <laughs> ask the Lord, what is the testimony you're supposed to give when you're supposed to give it? Yeah, Lori, we've done you know several interviews uh, that she gave her whole testimony. Maybe we'll do another one on Love Living Life coming up sometime. But uh, <laughs> anyway, we'll share her whole testimony, my whole testimony coming up soon. All right, let's work our waist a little bit. We did our legs in the last round. I just want you to lean. So with your weight, lean to one side, and then you're gonna lean to the other side. 
Okay, we're in sync. So you're gonna work your stomach, work your <laughs> obliques. And the dumbbells just help, they add a little bit, so they're gonna increase the strength of your stomach. So is it a moving like this, or is it just a slow stretch? I like to do just a, a little bit of a lean, because you're actually using more, if you're using weight, you're actually using more muscles to come back up, almost like a little crunch with a little weight. I noticed you were doing that. So it's so. not just a stretching, we actually wanna... It's a little bit of a pumping. Yeah, exactly, just like we did on our lunges. If you remember the lunges, you know, we stretched out and went like that. Same thing on this, we wanna lean, and then just do little pumps. And if you feel heat, although I feel heat in one area of my side, but that's because I have a hot mic on. All right, and one minute <laughs> But of that means marching. the muscle is working. Interval. If you feel heat in that area, the muscles are starting to heat up and work. There, I didn't look at my tracker, but just knowing that we're going to work out for, what, maybe 15 minutes? I don't, we may get 1,000, maybe 1,500 steps in. If you're at home and you're trying to work your way up to get up to, you know, 12,000, 10,000, 15,000 steps, whatever it might be, you may want to uh, what, run, go a little faster if you need more steps. Run? Yeah, oh, you mean, place. oh, yeah, okay. You <laughs> so if you want to get a lot of steps in. Or you could get. If you're not wearing a microphone this. at home, which you probably aren't, it'll bounce <laughs> out. <laughs> That's hilarious. But I really like, yeah, I like these rebounders. They're easy on the knees. That's why we keep talking about them. They're very easy on your joints. So that's very helpful. I've had three knee surgeries on my left knee, three on the same knee. So this is very comforting to me. Yes. I okay, think time to lift. You were doing research on athletes. So if you do anything athletic for a time span. Yeah, it, it wears on your body. All right. athletics wear on your body. That's why we do things that are really simple here on the show. I want to actually do almost like you're running and just bring up, it's called a hammer curl. Well, what I like about this one is we're building the strength because you can use so much more of your cardio if you swing your arms when you walk. So, you know, if we were, <laughs> you, you actually can walk with really light weights. Yeah. Not for very long. See, now these weights are so light for me. It's like, okay, I'm gonna have two different sets. <laughs> or you're gonna have a whole, or empty the whole gym here. Yeah, because this is just, you get to a point where you really want it to be a challenge. Summer's coming, or summer's always in Florida, so it's like the arms, ladies, the arms. <laughs> the arms. <laughs> the arms. <laughs> but just great hammer curls, work out the arms, and then we go back to just the march. So I'm gonna come back here. And this march portion, this one minute interval, it's just anything to get you moving. You could do jumping jacks if you wanted to. For some extra cardio, you could do scissor steps. Oh yeah. So if you get bored with walking Or you could do like my do, favorite thing. There you go, do Lori's, uh, what do you call that? I don't that? know what this is. I just like is it, that it ice feels skating? good. It's like ice skating, but it moves almost every muscle in the body. I mean, yeah. you're literally focusing. You aren't just walking up and down. You're literally moving every muscle in the body. I like this. I could go much faster, go uphill. <laughs> just anything to move. That's what this one intermittent interval, just to get your cardio up before we go back to lift. At least they match, sort of, <laughs> my weights. Yeah, and this whole goal, you know, we talked about it earlier, just be healthier. So we're just trying to increase our cardiovascular, increase some of our strength. What are we doing next? We're gonna do overhead presses. Okay. So you might want light ones. I'm using light ones because I still have a shoulder so issue. So on this one, just you bring your weights up to your shoulders and you're just gonna press them overhead. Nice and slowly, so you don't... You're gonna go as slowly as you can. So what muscles does this work on, Rob? Really works the shoulders. Works a little bit of your tricep, a little bit of the bicep, but mostly the shoulder, and a little bit of your back. But I encourage you, keep the weights in the front, so if I can turn sideways. You notice I'm gonna go just in front of yeah, my face. Yeah, not back here. Yeah, you don't wanna come behind your head, it impinge really bad for the shoulder. This impinges the shoulder, I shouldn't even be doing that. So don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Always it's press good. just up in front of you. So you should be able to see your weights with your peripheral vision. And if so. you want, you know, you can alternate, like you're climbing the ladder. So you're grabbing one, climbing the ladder. I will tell you, if you do this for a minute, you're gonna feel it. 
Okay, back to our march. Or Lori's ice skating or whatever you want to do at no, home for I'm your cardio. I'm going to march. Ice skating is probably it's, weird watching how many steps you do I can get that. In real quickly. <laughs> this is what we do at home if we're short on our walking steps. All of a sudden you'll see one of us go, oh, <laughs> because we just walked. You can get in a lot of steps right before yeah, you dinner can. if you just go like this for a little while. <laughs> After dinner, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's always fun. You know what though, that reminds me of, this is supposed to be fun. So it's good to try to find a workout buddy, whether it's a family member or just a friend and make it fun because exercising isn't fun, but you can make it fun by, you know, doing the things we do or. And if you're peeking behind me, you can see the clock. We have about seven minutes left in the show. So you're doing great. Oh, that? Yeah. Yeah, see, we're so high tech here. We have two timers. We have one to let you know how much time you have left in the overall workout, and then one how much you have left in this round. All what right, one doing? minute. We're gonna do flies. Okay, again, with shoulders, not doing So again, working weight. our shoulders. So you just bring them up nice and slowly and bring them just below your shoulder. Don't come way up here. We just want to go just below your shoulder height. What happens if you do this? It impinges again. It impinges again. the shoulder. Right. You think about a door hinge, if you stretch it too far, <laughs> if it's only supposed to go 90 degrees and you force that hinge past 90 degrees, what does it do? It weakens the hinge. And eventually it will break. Wow. So we're trying to prevent injuries. Right. And really, it's really, I mean, if you're an athlete and you're trying to train for something different, there are a lot then of different you're exercises already, for that. Right? Well, and if you're training for something different, you're already in training. So there's a difference between just working out at home and being in training for a long time to do a marathon or whatever. Right. Play a tournament of some kind. Okay, time to walk. What are you going to do this round, honey? I'm going to get on this thing again because I just like it. <laughs> I mean, it's a trampoline. It's a little tiny mini trampoline. This doesn't count. <laughs> this does really nothing except for maybe a little cardio, but that's really not. <laughs> it's funny that I was doing that. <laughs> it was fun, but not as much benefit as this. Right. So where they, are we? They actually make these where they have little handles They're so halfway. you can hold on to them. They have them where there's handles on the sides that you can hold on to. We can have each other. Yeah. <laughs> they are close enough. No, they're not, but that's okay. We don't need it. I didn't check my um, Whoa. step you counter before noticed? we started. If you aren't used to spotting, which I know how to spot, so I pick a place, space, a, a place, and then I move. If I take off my spot and move Fine. and I'm walking, it's like, whoa. <laughs> I did. You I did. just jumped off our little you mini did. tramp. <laughs> what are we doing? I'm determining which weights I want to use. Well, you wanted to work arms? Yes. So let's do just curls. Okay. Just bicep curls. So uh, most people know how to do a bicep curl, but you just bring your fingertips up to your shoulder. Well, let's do a variation. Let's alternate. So you bring one side and then the other. Nice and slowly. And that doesn't mean this. Yeah, we're working just nice and slow today. And actually, there is a concentric, meaning on the way down. You can go super slowly. Right. And it's a whole different workout. Didn't we do a show like that out of mm -hmm. yep. the, where you everything looked we the did Christian was Fitness archives somewhere in the last resistance. <laughs> ages and ages. But just nice and slowly. I like to keep my elbows kind of planted so that I'm just focusing on just my arms. I was waiting till you're done. I didn't want to interrupt. No, I was I done. Interrupt your I flow saw there. Elise also go. It's over. Okay, one minute of uh, whatever you want your cardio to be. It could be jumping jacks. It could be whatever you want. We just want to get your heart rate up in between our lifts. I haven't mastered jumping jacks on this thing. Yeah, you just can't go very wide. Yeah, I don't think I like that. I like to try the scissor. Yeah, I think I just now, like, you don't like this. the scissor stuff. I think I just really like this. You can it cross feels over good. scissor. Okay. <laughs> was that like river dance? <laughs> so I'm 
sometimes you just don't Whatever say Whatever you can do to get your cardio in. Just remember to pump your arms because you are getting more cardiovascular when you pump your arms. I'm sweating. Yeah. And we're in an air-conditioned studio. We are, aren't we? You become this leaper well, off I know, the I, thing. Just, I don't know, it's a it's trampoline. It's hilarious. I'm like, a, I'm like a child to give me a trampoline. All right, we're going to do a combination on this one. We're going to lunge and do hammer curls. So we're combining some of the earlier exercises. You're going to lunge, and then you're going to hammer curl. OK, and then you'll switch. And again, as low as you want to go, you can go super low and super slow. These need to get moved out of the way. Because so just combining some of this safe. for our strength training. What I like about this is it's combination exercises. So instead of just standing here working the uh, hammer curl, we're working everything by lunging, staying down here for a second. So now you'll really start to feel it on the back leg. You're going to feel it in your front thigh because you're basically doing a squat. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at me. This is kind of for me, kind of like chewing gum and trying to do something else at the same time. It's just... Oh, only a few seconds left. I had to get One in more. to think of what we were doing. Okay, <laughs> and back to your cardio, whatever you want your cardio to be. Okay, sweating. <laughs> we would love to hear from you at home. We'd love to see pictures of you on the Walk Fit Challenge. If you're walking in a local park, send us some pictures. Oh, please do. Send us pictures of your dog. If your dog takes you for a walk and you get your <laughs> steps that way. <laughs> or a testimony you have while you're walking or how God is helping you through this walk or something that was revealed to you. Or a scripture that jumped out at you. If you're yeah. doing the listening plan and you listen to the Bible while you're walking, let us know a scripture that jumped out at you. Almost done. Okay. Guess what? We're like 46 seconds left in the show. What are we going to do? We're just going to relax. We're just going to cool down. Stretch. Just take a minute. Just take deep breaths. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. It's not a weird thing. It's just good for you. So inhale should... through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Breathe. It's yeah. a deep breathing exercise. And get some water. Drink water before and after you work out. Absolutely. Hydrate, 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 hydrate. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you enjoyed the scripture. Oh my gosh, we could, and that's what Lori and I do. We'll find a scripture. Next thing you know, we're, we're having a Bible study while we're walking for 10 minutes. So we encourage you to do that as well. Thank you for joining us on Christian Fitness Walk Fit Challenge. We love you guys. Have a great day.